The Bharat Bandh called against the central government's anti-people policies entered the second day on Tuesday. On Monday, which was the first day of the Bandh, services like banking and transport were badly hit. The strike has been called by a group of trade unions who have been voicing concern over several government policies calling them anti-worker and anti-farmer. The first day of the protests registered a response in several states like Delhi, Punjab, Haryana, Kerala, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh amongst others where transport and banking services took a partial hit. In Kerala, the High Court was compelled to issue orders prohibiting the government employees from abstaining from work, calling it illegal. The southern states woke up to empty streets and the state-run buses did not operate while taxis, auto rickshaws and private buses kept away from the roads across the state. Bengal registered demonstration from the left-backed agitators who blocked train tracks and also protested on the streets. The protest found support from some lawmakers too in the parliament. Rajya Sabha MPs from the left and DMK staged a protest at the Gandhi statue when the Rajya Sabha was adjourned till noon due to the disruption in the proceedings by the opposition over rising prices of petroleum products and over trade union protests. The strike has been called by the Joint Forum of Central Trade Unions after the Provident Fund interest rates were slashed in a move that attracted wide criticism. Rising fuel prices and privatization of central public sector undertakings are also other issues that have been raised. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.